Welcome to today's Nashville Meets World, and we've got a really cool guest for you who's going to do a couple of songs for us. She's been on the show before, and we're thrilled to have her anytime we get her. Look, boys and girls, it's Jane Vance. Hi. <laughs> What's going on? What is happening? It's uh, adapting to a different camera set. Yeah, yes. this is so nice. It is. Completely different than the last time I was here. Yeah. Well, you weren't here the last time. I wasn't. Yeah, yeah I guess yeah. that would be right. Because <laughs> we were here. Uh, no, that was the old, over at the old place. And I can't believe yeah. it's been that long since we had you on the show. I know. It's been a long time. But, you know, sometimes it's good to take some time for yourself. That way, um, the creativity really has room to grow and um, get out there. So that's what's been going on. You've spent all that time just getting Writing. ready. Um, Christmas, you're getting ready to get on the show. No. Oh, yeah, that too. I've just been, you know, changing my look, all yeah, of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it. As we record this, it's CRS week. Um, so you'll be seeing this next week. So last week was CRS week. <laughs> and uh, so this is like your first interview. Of this CRS. is the first interview of CRS. I wanted it to be you. All right. Uh, country radio seminar. It's like a big radio convention. So you see all of your favorite radio personalities. Absolutely plastered. Um, <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> the artists are always on their best behavior because you want the spins and you want to build of that course, relationship. Of course. And then you just go home to the radio station and it's like, who did I talk to? Yeah, it's like, who are all of these people that have like yeah. 20,000 cards? Yeah, 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 exactly. It's pretty much how it goes. Um, so exciting things have been happening for you. You're always busy. I always mm -hmm. see you posting about, uh, you know, I'm over here, I'm there. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's pretty consistent. You're pretty hard working. Yeah, you kind of have to be in this industry. And I'm a female, you know what I mean? So yeah, it's like yeah. you have to turn it up that much more. Yeah. So it's not just... That way, whenever I do make it, I can be like, I worked my butt off for that. You know what I mean? It's not like something was just handed to me. But that brings to mind a good question. How do you... By what standard do you hold yourself to to making it um i like what like make it what yeah. should am i like is my goal yeah what to you is making it um you know what um i just want to be playing music mm -hmm. full time all the time yeah. everywhere um now whether that is more so of like a ray lynn's level or um even a kelsey's level or even a carrie level um I'm kind of just that type of person that's going to just like go with whatever like opportunities are presented to me um, and make the most out of it. So um, I'm going to work my butt off until I'm where I want to be. And I don't know if there's ever going to be that, that position where I'm there. right, exactly, where I'm like, okay, this is where I was, this is where I want to be, or it's it might never be that. According, according to Bob Dylan's quote of, uh, the journey is the destination. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. That's kind of how I feel. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. You certainly have the talent because I've seen you grow over the past, mm -hmm. uh, how long have I been? Eight years? I, I was about to say, we've known yeah, each other yeah. for a long time. Yeah, a long time. <laughs> uh, well, a long time by music business. Yeah. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Um, and I've seen you grow. Your show has grown. Your entertainment factor has grown. Mm -hmm. You get it. You know how to do interviews. You know how to put on a show. Mm -hmm. You know how to write. It's it's just all come together for you. Thank you for that. Thank <laughs> you for saying that. It like makes me kind of blush a little bit. <laughs> or the cheeks red. I don't even yeah. know if you can see it. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, has I mean, obviously, that's been a concerted effort. That's what yes. you strive to achieve as an artist. Yes, I think that it's important as an artist to. Be on your toes at all times, just because there's always someone new, someone different moving into town. New music, new styles, new everything. So I think it's important to keep up with what's going on and like be that one to be the creator, to be the one that said, okay, I started this or I did this. You know what I mean? So that's pretty much what I focus on is just 
doing things that nobody else is doing. You also, uh, and I notice this all the time with you, is you, you understand that when you're in public, you could be recognized. Yes. By anybody. Yes. So you're always on point. Yes. I kind of have to be, you know, it kind of stinks sometimes because sometimes I just want to go to like Publix in my pajamas, <laughs> you know? Yeah, there's like, no shortage of people doing that. Yeah, I know. Uh, like, which I do, I will say, I do, you know, walk downstairs in the mornings or something to, you know, I'll, like let Caleb into the apartment or something like that yeah. and I'll be in the towel because I just jumped out of the shower and like my robe or something like crazy and I'm like yeah. running because I'm like making sure nobody sees me or whatever, but you know. That's, it is a difficult thing to do, always having that public persona. Yeah, it's hard. Uh, but you don't really get to shut off until mm -hmm. you're home and by yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I feel like I've had to kind of get used to that. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it took some time, years, yeah. to, to actually get on board with that and really understand it. Yeah. Um, and, and you have a distinct look. So you're easy, <laughs> which is good, Thank you. but it's also bad because you're, <laughs> no, because you're easily recognizable. I know, yeah. You, you don't blend into a crowd. Right. And that can be a drag. Yeah. yeah. So most, of, most of the time that happens, people are like, who are you? <laughs> like, where should I go in Nashville? That's like the best place. I'm like, I don't know. They were like, well, you looked important, so I asked you. <laughs> you know, so it just kind of, it is, you know, it is what it is. It's a stink sometimes, but I've gotten used to it. That's just my way of life. It's very professional. And Thank you. And it doesn't go unnoticed. So Thank you for that. I'm noticing it, and I'm like the last guy in the world to notice <laughs> anything. He's nice to eat. Um, so if, if I'm noticing it, everybody's noticing it. Thanks, Thanks Camo. We're good together. Yeah, we are. Um, so tell me about the work and stuff you've been working on lately. Yeah, so a um, new project coming out in April. Mm -hmm. I know, it's only a couple months away and I'm kind of getting nervous. I'm like, oh my gosh, deadlines are coming up. Like, having to write these, having to do that, you know, photo shoots, videos, all of the above, the whole shebang. Um, I think what we're going to do is actually release um, singles instead of a full EP or an album or whatever. So, we are, we've are we just been building up our arsenal, you know what I mean? That's a good thing. Just have an arsenal full of just stuff to just throw out there and be like, do you love it or do you not? You know, and just kind of see where it goes. We've talked about this with a lot of guests that we have on, and this, the industry has become much more singles-driven yeah. industry, not the album-driven. And that's not just down to iTunes, it's a number of factors that right. have driven it that way. Uh, so whether you like it or not, that's the that's way it is. The way. But yeah. it's a cycle, because back in the 50s and 60s, it was all singles-driven anyway. Right. Right. And, and it wasn't until you had bands like the Beach Boys and the Beatles that were putting together conceptual right. albums that, you know, the FM radio came in. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, it's neat because people are throwing new songs out there before they even cut them. Yeah. And see how they they use the audience as their A and R. Yeah, they're like, what? How do? How is this going? Yeah. Uh, they're they're literally reading off of the audiences. And if the audience reaction. is flat on the song consistently, exactly. then it's not worth cutting. Exactly. Yeah. So that's kind of and that's kind of you know we've been using like Facebook Lives and um, Instagram um, TV yeah. and all of that good stuff to try to do things like yeah. that. You know, which a lot of people um, like the audience a lot of times don't really know that that's what we're doing. They're just like, oh my gosh, there's new material. Like, yeah, you yeah. know, and you kind of read it off of that. So it's kind of neat that we're able to have um, those types of programs at our fingertips to be able to do that, you know, for ourselves as independent artists. So I think that's cool. You like having that control? Or yeah. Is, if somebody came to you with, you know, the whole deal, the yeah. label deal and, and that, mm -hmm. but you have to serve their control. Yeah. Do you think that would be easy for you to do? Well, you know, there are certain things that I know within myself and just my morals in general yeah. that I'm not going to be willing to give up and that I'm not going to sign my life away for. Um, however, if the right deal comes around, <laughs> uh, however, if the right deal comes around, the right person, the right deal, and I feel like that's where I'm meant to be, and I'm like, okay, I've worked my butt off. 
consistently up to this point and like this is the this is this is yeah. uh, the person that's gonna make my seeds grow that I planted. Um, then yeah, then I absolutely will uh, be willing to change things. Cool. You want to do a song for us? Heck yeah, we're gonna do a new one if that's okay. okay. That works perfect. Heck yeah. Um, so we're going to be playing a new song for you guys. It's called Myself Again, and I hope you guys like it. You told your lies and you played your game. Apologizing was your first and last name. It makes me sick to think I stay. Boy, I've moved on for my own damn sake. Cause you ain't worth my heart, eh? Here it goes, finding myself. You made your bed while you were cheating on me. Now lay in there cause you hurt me so deep. It makes me want to fall down to my knees. Oh, but I'm not weak like you thought I would be. So we would make a run to Niagara Falls okay. and get Marlboros because you could only get you couldn't get them in Canada, and we chain smoke Marlboros. I didn't know that. <laughs> so our voice would our voices would drop. Yeah, and that's what we used to do to sound better during radio. Yeah, don't don't do that at home. <laughs> that is not don't recommended. <laughs> don't buy a I bunch don't of cigarettes. I smoke anymore, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was, I know, but I really, I mean, I honestly think, yeah, thank you. Appreciate um, that. Yeah, I, I love it. Thank um, you. I just, I, I, I'm always drawn to you because you have such a big personality and you have such talent and 
I'm just a fan of everything. Ah, <laughs> you're my emotional. You can always come on this show. Always. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I've appreciated, you know, our friendship and our yeah. business relationship. Um, it's, that's even grown over yeah. years. Yeah. So, you know, um, along with my vocals. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, but I mean, they are. Uh, you know, I saw you. This was the last, This now this is going to be, what, about a year and a half ago. You did a showcase. Yes, my release party. Your release yes. party. And you were really emotional during that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does do you bring that emotion into your writing? Do you are you writing stuff sometimes and you cry? Because yeah, really? absolutely. There's sometimes where I have to like. There's sometimes where it takes me two or three days to write a song because yeah. like that song that we just played yeah. myself again. Um, so I was going through a divorce, yeah. and um, you know it was just like where have I been throughout the last couple of years? You know, like where did I go? What happened to me? Um, type of thing. So like really just like for one soul searching and like um, self reflecting is like some of the hardest things I think I've ever had to do. Mm -hmm. um, and so when I this project like writing these songs, I feel like we're even more emotional than my last project because I've experienced more. I'm older, you know yeah. what I mean? Um, which, which is just what happens with life, I guess. But everybody has their own experiences, but it's so funny that we can all connect um, on the same level universally with music. So knowing that in general, I feel like makes me emotional just to begin with, because I'm like, oh my gosh, like somebody else is gonna hear this and somebody else is gonna feel exactly what I'm feeling. It's all about that connection. And yeah. Even if you just connect to one person in that audience and, mm -hmm. and you you know you've scored with them. Exactly. Then, it's, then you've done your job. You've done what you were, you know. Put for me, it's kind of the opposite. As long as I don't offend it. <laughs> You so, offend anyone? What? <laughs> yeah. Usually it's unintentional. I just Okay. Put it, put it in mouth. Uh, oh God. Insert foot in mouth. That's... Do you do that, Caleb? <sighs> no count. <laughs> He's like, I'm just gonna start. Uh, the advice of his attorney, he's refusing to come. Back. I'll bleed the fifth. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. But uh, yeah. Yeah, it, it's, and I, I think that's, again, what the authenticity is of the successful artists, is they're able to connect on that human level. I have to. Yeah. And it, do you find that hard? Because it's almost like you have to have a split personality. Your presentation always has to be professional right. and, and carrying yourself like a star. Yeah. But... You also want to connect mm -hmm. on that level of let's have a bottle of wine and right. you have know, a good cry. Kind of um, I don't think anybody's ever asked me that. That's a really great question. Um, I think that if you're just yourself, yeah. honestly, I mean, that's all I've done. Yeah. I've been myself 120% without, um, without shame, you know, yeah. and I think that that's what you kind of have to do. Like, people are going to talk crap about you either way. Yeah. There are going to be people who don't like what you're doing or love what you're doing. There are always going to be those people that ride the fence or that jump on board or don't come on board at all. So I don't think um, it's important to focus on those kind of things. I think it's important just to show who you are and be real with people 120% of the time. And if they love you, they love you. If they don't, then they can kick rocks. You know what I mean? Yeah, because if you're going around trying to pretend to be something mm -hmm. to... A group of people, right. they're going to piss off another group of people. They're going to be like, that's not you, that's not who we yeah. saw, you yeah. know? So I try to, I really do try to be pretty universal all the way around, you know yeah. what I mean? I don't try to um, talk about topics that, you know, I know that are touchy and that yeah. that would cause business relationships yeah. to crumble or... You should be speaking to a lot of other artists. Yeah, I think because, it's important to... Because you're, off, you're, mm -hmm. you're automatically eliminating 50% exactly. of your audience. Exactly. Exactly. So, you say it's it's okay. It's it's okay to agree to disagree. Yeah. You want you know, but there this this day and time that we live in right now, there's just so many different opinions and so many things going on with our governments, with our I mean everything, with everything in life, and it's just easier if you love each other and support each other and don't even 
make that the center of anything because yeah. at the end of the day, none of that stuff matters. We're all going to end up in, in the ground anyways. You know what I mean? Not, not, me. <laughs> not you. Maybe maybe in an urn. No, no, I'm not what are you going to do? Going in a wall? I'm not going. At all. Not you refuse it. Yeah, well, <laughs> He's going to live forever. Yeah. It's like that chair song. If I could turn back time. I yes. am, baby. I am. I'm going to turn it back. I mean, look at you. Clearly, you're turning it back. Oh, thank you. You're too young to have to be turning back. <laughs> Man. Um, but I, I just am such a fan of everything that you do. It's, thank you. I watch. It, it's kind of a sense of pride, really, because it's so <laughs> long ago um, that we met and, mm -hmm. and known each other and been friends, and it's just seeing you develop and it's like I, I sit back sometimes when I see your post and I think that's really cool. Aw, thank so you. Cool. Thank you. And I do the same and I hope that you know that I definitely keep up with you and I do the same thing with you and all of your success. This is crazy. Thanks for watching the Mutual Admiration Society. Oh uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it guys. Sorry. We're just catching up. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers with our coffees. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. <laughs> Catch you next time. Yeah. One, one time, it'll just be us just sitting here. We're just chatting. Yeah, like you're not even here. Yeah, sorry. Uh, so what have, what have you got planned for the upcoming months, the mm -hmm. year? What have, what's your kind of story? Oh, man, you know, there's so much going on. I'm now working with uh, two booking agencies, so I've got oh. a new booking agency. Um, we are coming in, um, getting into the Florida and the Carolinas and the nice. Texas and the Reno's and the um, Vegas and all, all of those areas. Cool. So we're, we're really broadening our spectrum um, within our tour season. Um, so we're really excited about that. We're hitting up a lot of showcases currently right now. Um, this is the season for booking right now. So we're really hitting those showcases really hard. Um, so we're going to continue to do that for the rest of the year. We obviously have some new music coming out in yeah, April, April. So we've got all that going on. We've got some new photo shoots going on. I have a band that I call the Rowdies that yes. travel with me now that are consistent with me. So I'm super excited. Kayla Bean, our lead guitar player. I mean, it's just all coming together. It's like insane. I can't even, I don't even know. I can't even fathom it. It's just like, what the heck is going on? So Thank you. You, uh, you want to do another song? Yeah, we, we can do one more for you. Yeah, we'll do another new one. This song is called Why, um, and I hope there are some of you out there that are able to relate to this. <laughs> Backing down, I'm gonna climb this hill Praying to God to show me the way Counting every step of every single day Why? Oh, why? Does it feel like I'm wrong when I'm home on a lawn Just trying to pass the time Chasing my dreams, barely making ends meet They say that
So does it feel like I'm wrong when I'm home all alone Just trying to survive Chasing my dreams, barely making ends meet Why the hell is that the grind? Why does it feel like I'm wrong when I'm home all alone Just trying to pass the time Chasing my dreams, barely making ends meet They say that so much and I came home one day and I had been sent home from work because I had a little bit of snuffles and the second I was just sitting there and I was like had this mental block for about a month and I was like couldn't write anything and I was just like why why like why like what is going on and all I could keep saying was why 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 and the songwriter and you said Write the song, yes. So I was just like, everybody says, like as a female, as a female in this industry, and it's just the truth. It's hard. It's so hard to make it in this industry as a female artist. And it's like every song I write, everything that I'm doing, every beat that I'm walking, everything that I'm saying and speaking and singing is going unrecognized. Why? Why is that the grind? Why is that? what we're told we have to do in order to be successful, you know? Yeah, and this whole, we, this comes up quite a bit on the show. Yeah. Because we have so many female artists. Right. Um, is this whole radio problem. Yeah. Of uh, women not getting the airplay. It's like women on country radio in the United States, and it's probably close in Canada, but in the United States, only 10% of the stuff you hear yeah. on country radio is from women. Right. And women make up 52% of the audience. Exactly. And, the, the, you know, when I started in radio in the mid-80s, it was like, don't play two women together. Right. Now, this was the 80s, and we had Reba, that we had, you know, um, God, I just... So I mean, there. Yeah, I mean, there were so many between there in the early two thousands. Really, you can't tell the difference. They said, "Don't play two women because people won't know the difference." And it's like, really? I know. Can't yeah. you hear it? <laughs> like, okay. okay. But now it's like, and it's so funny that you say that because now it's like you turn on the radio, yeah. and all the guys sound the same. Yeah. So it's like, somebody what's the difference? Just, exactly. There was somebody in just recently that said yeah. exactly the same. It's all the guys sound. Yeah. And. And it, it's just, why don't you just play music that's good? Why? 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 <laughs> why? Exactly. So, I'm glad that you like it. This is the first time, well, I think we played it on one other radio station, but it didn't go as well as that just went. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But uh, thank you. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much. Uh, we're going to do Ask and Answer now. Oh, right? Lordy. No, it's, it's nothing tumultuous unless you get a Steve Goody question. Uh, What's that? Steve Goody is a... Uh, Comedian and songwriter here. Okay, okay. Steve, Steve, Steve has a comedian sense of humor. Perfect. Uh, so just reach in there and okay. grab, a, uh, grab a piece of paper. Okay. Do I look at it or do you look yeah, at it? I can read it for okay. you. Okay. What is your earliest re recollection of music having a significant impact on the person you've become? And that comes from Sue in Ottawa, Canada. Well, I love my Canadian, so thanks, Sue. Um, I think that uh, the first recollection that I have, I was probably eight years old, and um, I was traveling in churches, mm -hmm. um, you know, with my family yeah. and stuff, singing. And so um, that was probably the very first time, and I think we were in Westmoreland, Tennessee, and I sang this huge church, and there was about, I don't know, 300 to 400 people there, and I mean, that was like, as an eight-year-old, you're like, 
I can't do this. You know what I mean? Like, there's so many people out there. Like, I'm, pro I'm probably going to pay myself. Um, but, you know, that was like the first realization I think I had of being like, oh, well, maybe I'm good at this. Or maybe this is, you know, what I love the most. And it, it ended up being the thing that I really love. So. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. Thank you. Uh, when that question, question comes up, it's cool because for me, the, the earliest recollection, I mean, I was always into music from very mm -hmm. early, but the earliest I remember a song actually taking me somewhere mm -hmm. was uh, Saturday in the Park by Chicago. Oh, yeah. It's because you could see the man selling ice cream. You could see yeah. the guy singing Italian songs. Yeah. It, it was just... To me, that painted the picture. It was it was just as if I could smell it and, yeah. and be there. And that's, yeah. that's the magic of what music does. And, and we all have a different perception of it, you yeah. know, but it's the only thing that is universally understood between everybody. That's right. So it's and amazing. Music has value, so please buy your music. Uh, uh, you can stream it like millions Everywhere. and millions of times but then go and buy it yeah, yeah. it's important i think to like click that 99 cent button or that 199 button or even 299 button sometimes like yeah. support your artists like they are working so hard they're doing things that you guys don't ever see so and, and for indie artists that's like every day is small business saturday yes because, absolutely because that's what keeps you going exactly. selling the music selling the merch and mm -hmm. uh, so final question yes Jada Vance is about to go out on her first international headlining stadium tour. Who do you take along as an opening act? Oh, that's great. Uh, that's a great question. I don't know. Good Lord. I think I would be that person that would be like really wanting to research yeah. like who's new, who's up and coming, who's, who's in my shoes right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I think I would probably choose somebody like that. I don't. I don't have anybody specific in mind. I don't know, because I don't want to say somebody and like offend them because they think that I'm like better than you know what I mean. Like I'm not. I'm not saying that. It's a situation. Um, I don't know. Hopefully, you know, maybe Ray Lynn. There you go. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> Unrealistic, but you know, just to give you an answer, I don't really know. I'd have to research. That's a great question. Cool. I'll know next I love time. your answer. Thank you. Um, the Mutual Admiration Society continues. <laughs> so, I like your answer. <laughs> uh, people can find you. On yes, social. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all of the above. Everything is pretty universal. It's Jade Events Music. Um, I do have a website. It's jadeevents.com. We've got some new merchandise. I've, um, I've uh, teamed up with Mac and Co. You guys can find them on my Facebook page and on my website as well. So make sure you visit that. It's jadeevents.com. Um, I don't think I'm missing anything. No, iTunes, Spotify, all that good stuff. You guys can find me. Um, and we'll put a song up on our Spotify page. Perfect. I can't wait to send you the new one. I can't wait to Thanks it. for having me. It's a pleasure. I appreciate it. Uh, check her out. Jade Events, all the socials, the website. Go see her when you can. And thanks for watching the show today. Make sure you catch me on Chris Country all across the UK every Sunday at midday. Following Bob... Or, Kingsley's. It, it's that's Chevrolet. <laughs> that was my first gig. Was operating America, Bob Kingsley's American Country. Well, Country. shout out Bob Kingsley. <laughs> you just got a plug. Bob, Bob passed recently, but he was always a, that's where I learned to do what I do. Was listening to Bob. Wow. Uh, no, it's Kicks Brooks now that that does the show. Uh, Kicks Brooks is American Country Countdown every Sunday at midday. I'm right on after that. Just in case you forgot, because I was rambling. We'll see you next time. Have a good day. Oh, my